we can see you. Yuki first here with TCG Nistro talking about Ko Money. Ko Money. Konami. Uh, basically, not just Konami. Things about Yu Gi Oh that we felt that we needed to discuss. Yeah. Um, our own opinions on uh, what's been uh, going on with the game and how we feel about the game in general. And how it could be resolved, but probably won't be. Yeah, it definitely won't be. Anytime soon, anyway. But, uh, you know, we would have to wait no sooner than November 2017 for these problems <laughs> to be resolved. But uh, we're going to get to that. So, starting off, uh, how do you feel about the game, like, right now? Right now, I feel like the game is a little bit like more balanced than it was like three weeks ago with the never-ending zoo format. <laughs> true Draco still exists though. With they didn't hit the problem cards. That is true. I uh, mean, no, no. In that sense, like Dynamite getting banned was a good step, but it was the wrong step. I think it was to stop pure True Dracos from being played. So, like, the, like, Konami's mindset, like, the way, that, the same thing that they did with Zodiacs, like, they wanted to stop Zodiacs from being this, this, like, broken singular deck where you can just, like, spam the board with, like, this once per turn destruction monster and the searcher. That this was, oppressive card. Yeah, it was like. That you had to take resources to out and then they can rebuild again. Yeah, it's like, everything, since everything pretty much required only one monster, um, it was so easy to rebuild your resources, which is why it was so hard to stop. Um, which is why it was also a pretty good engine, because you only needed one card. So with True Dracos, Diagram was a pretty strong card, and it was an uh, amazing engine for stuff like Dinos and um, I don't know what else it was using, honestly. Ancient Gear, True Draco, I've seen that play. I don't know where, what, what you've seen, but... <laughs> I've, I've seen some stuff at some locals. Yeah, locals. Now, <laughs> Only um, locals things. The thing is, is that like with True Dracos, I feel like by limiting their spell and shop cards like a Heritage and Return... Uh, and like keeping Masterpiece around, it still keeps it as a pretty decent engine because Diagram's still around, Masterpiece is still around. They, they cut down Light of Sagum to make sure dinosaurs are just cucked out of playing it. But um, pretty much, it's still a pretty solid engine in decks. You can still play Truthing Dino too, but then you have to search for the Agamazud and not Lithosagin. I saw somebody try Metal Foe Dino True Draco, but I, was, I, I wasn't on board with that. Three, three, like, three Actually, decks is I, too I know. Um, a uh, teammate of mine, Josh, he's been featured on the channel before, he actually did try that build. He just couldn't find the, the right pieces to it. Like, he just couldn't make it work. Yeah, it, it's like, if you if you tried playing dinosaurs past this past ban list, then... It's really, really hard. Yeah, it's, you, it's you have really to play like, rescue, rescue Rabbit. You don't have to Dino play. Dino Rabbit. But it's about. like... It's you, just you a like, better option. You, yeah, you feel like you have to play. If you want to play Dinos. But um, other than that, I feel uh, the current format is like just one of those like meshed formats that like kind of don't like doesn't like obviously there's no tier one. Like we've established Pendulum Magician as like the best deck right now, but it's like that can kind of change. I think I feel time. yeah. Like in a good like two weeks, not yeah two weeks, not even two weeks, uh, two weeks yeah. No, we can wait just a week and a half. Yeah, because um, spirals and get their double helix. Yeah, like circuit break coming out just kind of leaves it like a giant question mark for the future. Also, like I feel like pendulum magicians were just a safest option because a lot of people just had the cards laying around. They're like, oh well, this easy to get. Triple wavering eyes, and uh, all these cards are cheap. Lost thirty two. Lost thirty two. But they didn't bring in Mister back to two. That's uh, I don't think if Mister if Mister is uh, balanced enough, cards come back. You see the OCG. They have Ignister at 3, and that's not doing anything. The thing is, is that I don't think it really matters, um, Ignister, so... I mean, um, well, no, I can see the combos now that Ignister can do, like, Ignister, pop, like, a, a Magician in the Scale, clear a card, and then search, or then they pop a Poison Clear card. I n ignore my previous statement. But because of that new Supreme King Starving Venom Dragon, uh, Ignister, I want doesn't really matter too much, because we can just summon a Tribute to Pe Pendulum, summon out that Starving Venom, copies uh, Ignister's effect from Grave, and you pretty much have a second Ignister. So, and well, then we have the um, the Arc Dragon that's gonna reborn hit the the Starving Venom too. Yeah, that's that's something. Have you seen that though? The the Revolution Dragon. Arc yeah, oh yeah, I've Revolution. seen Revolution Dragon. It's, it's that, that's not crazy. that's not right. I, I I just like the idea of Morph Ages becoming a little more playable. A little bit more playable. Having a searcher. Yeah. Look. Okay. No, look. I I didn't see anybody use that Pendulum Switch tech in a Morph Ages. All right, that that tech is legit. Did you? I. I did in a video, but like I didn't. When use you it play, when you play the morph ages. Yeah, when I play the morph ages. Okay, but you might play them again. Yeah, I feel like, feel like you might. I, I feel like with link format, it's like they're like the like the set right before link format. Right, maximum crisis. I feel like a lot of decks just got a lot 
of like good decent support master of four comes in they're done <laughs> that was like a good nine ten of the decks that we could play yeah it was like oh well ooh, this deck is looking legit oh well master of four well back to the bottom i mean <laughs> i uh, saw somebody try to um try to play monarchs in master rule three and then master rule four sort of gave them an advantage because you lock out their link format they just link format they lock out the link monster they can't really play yeah it's like konami doesn't like want us to use the extra deck monsters as much they want us to rely on our own decks our own strategies but then our own strategies and our own decks well, rely on the extra deck you know saying that broadly uh, obviously that, that's not what happened but you know it's kind of what the mindset I feel like Konami had when going into making Master Rule 4 and everything like that so uh yeah I mean that's that's how I feel about the game right now Master Rule 4 is cool Link monsters it, are, it, are okay but the extra deck monster zone not even that but the Nerfing pendulums so much was just like I understand the why they did that because pendulums were just too free. They boosted everything else, and then even in Master Four, they're still playable. Like, yeah, you see pendulum magicians now. Yeah, they magicians. they topped UDS. They I don't think they topped Nats yet, but I don't think that's happened. Yeah, not, not yet. yet. No, no YCS is happening yet. There should be one. There's gonna be one. No, uh, oh no, it's regional season. You know, regionals. Uh, sometime in the next few weeks. There's, there's yeah. Be, you know, oh, on well, YCS Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. It's Dallas and Toronto. Forgot about that. I won't be around for those, but, you know, those sound legit. I I won't be around to see what spirals do. To they won't, uh, to be fair, I know they won't do anything because we're only getting double helix. We don't have Trigate Wizard until November. We don't well, play Karibo until November. You're getting Destrudo, and you're getting double helix. That's still two pieces of the five-piece puzzle that we need. I don't know. I, I feel like you guys can still do something. Yeah, but it won't be enough to be able to make a splash no matter we'll be there we'll be like in the fringes like with the Shadal, Klee, Burning Abyss with the Telenites in the fringes We're, the, Shadal, the Spiral play players are the Telenite players in the fringes in the meta like making re occasional appearances but not doing much oh, so, you're, so you're making moves but not you're, you're, you're not doing them yet yeah you're not, you're not making tops yet okay. yeah it makes sense uh why do you think at, at, um, at UDS no Spiral players got to top well, because everybody was Play playing that Pendulum Magician attack, man. Yeah, fast. Bro, that Wavering Eyes of 3, that was way too good to give up. It was like, whoa, let me try this, actually. <laughs> I actually uh, considered playing Pendulum Magicians, and I'm like, Duelist Lines has shot up to 30s. I'm good. Reprint. I am so glad for that. Reprint. Also, another thing, when, when Konami sees the hype for, for expensive cards and then reprints them as lower rarities as possible, you see... Light it up the world with a little... I got a couple more words!